Sabalenka right. to serve. Sabalenka Ready to serve. Play. Love 15. Some uh, awkward laughter down here, including from Sabalenka. Fifteen odds. And a wonderful response. That will boost the confidence. And Chanda, it's interesting. You look at all the numbers. We love our stats here. And she's dropped 10 Ks an hour on serve this year at the championship. So serving with purpose. Yeah, I think giving yourself a bit more margin, going more for placement as well. How, how important is it to what? get off to a good start it's here for very, Sabalenka? It's very 30, important 15. because that allows her to settle in. Obviously serving first, she wants to hold serve and really show that you know she's ready to play and that she's in a good enough rhythm with one of her weapons. Sabalenka going a little bit 40, more for placement, 50. getting a little more margin on the first serve. The second serve, she's using the kick serve a lot more. All of that allows her to relax just a little bit more and depend on that serve, especially under pressure. Game. So well, it's a dream start for the fifth seed. Marina Sabalenka sending down an ace. 189. First game. Elena Rybakina to serve. Fold. Well, the numbers are just simply awesome for Elena. All tournament long on serve. Incredible 51% of her serves are unreturned throughout this tournament. And Elena spoke in the last match after she played Azarenka, that the conditions were so different for her playing at night. And the first serve percentage dropped a lot because of it. She was just struggling to get the weight of shot on those lighter balls. Russell Crowe in the house tonight. Australia's famous actor. He's in the expensive seats. Well, Bill Gates was there the last few nights, so the heavy hitters in town. favoured serve Chandler likes the big serve out wide on the ad court oh, that gives her the 40, most space 50. to go up and out into the court she's got great height and she can hit down on that serve and create a sharp angle game we begin well both girls have come out brilliantly Good energy, looking calm and composed and incredible serving accuracy. Yeah, Rebikina, she's got such a smooth motion on the serve. It just looks effortless. That maybe helps over the course of a long match. Fifteen love. Well, there were some lingering doubts, wasn't there, uh, in the locker room or around the player area about whether Sabalenka would be able to come out and serve well in this final.
To be honest, I don't think it's going to really show up as an issue, if at all, until we get to the business end and the score line towards the end of the first set, and especially if she, eventually she's trying to close out the match. That is when you might start to see some, some errors come through. 40 love. Yeah, so far, this has been a serving clinic between the two of them. Lent Fisser. That was a bit of a kick, but it didn't move Rubikina enough, and that was right in her strike zone. Now, Rebikina again, looking unbothered there. She guesses right. Stays pretty calm there to flick that forehand. Another game point here for Sabalenka. talked a bit about how ready Rubikina has been for returns at the beginning of matches this fortnight, and she is definitely behind the ball, picking it up, doing something when she gets it squarely on her racket. Love, this has quickly evaporated. Advantage First break point for right bike in a here. I think that's just the pressure of the last couple of second serve returns going really deep at her feet, pulling off that last serve before she finished the stroke. That's a little wild. So we have the first break in this women's final. Elena Rabikina gets the early break. 2-1, first set. Rabikina leads by... One of the best front runners we know in the women's game, Rabikina. Yeah, she is quickly becoming a player who understands how to stretch a lead. Easier to do that when you've got big weapons as well. Love. 
14er. It's not easy to read the Rebecca in a serve as well. Gets a pretty consistent toss. Can hit to different areas with a similar look. She is rolling now. Four. Sabalenka need that point, Laura. Well, that's the one she needs to get to, the wide forehand 40. to Rabaikina. Just force her to go for the shot that she really feels uncomfortable on this wide shot. You know that she likes to go cross-court on the forehand the majority of the time. And as soon as she's pushed wide, that's when she kind of ejects out of the point. She doesn't want to hang in there. Consolidates the break. Out of the gates quickly. 3-1. The leads by three games to one. It's so important to get off to a good start, to start playing from your strengths. And Rebaikina is doing that from the very first ball. The serve. She has been rocking on. And the returns just keeping that pressure on Sabalenka. Now. 15, though. It also just seemed like such a quick turnaround from Sabalinka being up 40 love in that service game. It turned quickly. So this game becomes even more important for Sabalinka to just slow things down more on her terms. Thirty love. That last Sabalinka service game just highlights the fact that you cannot relax in a match with big hitters who can turn points and games around with one swing. Got to try to play every point completely. Oh, wow. Yeah. Sabalenka. Awesome ball striking from both players, but it's Rebaikina. Singles final here at the Australian Open. As we take a look at the early breaks here, Rebaikina got her nose in front at 76%. When she gets a break, she converts it. Good power. That's her Indeed, average no. pace on serve, 181 kilometres an hour. Well, the problem is there's not really a pattern that Sabalenka can pick out at the moment. And across Rybakina's last couple of matches, there's not been an obvious play. 30 left. We know she likes that wide yep. one for sure, but she could just as easily hit the tee serve. So even if you're risking it by moving out, I feel like that's maybe leaving you a little open. Plus one shot, the first left. stroke after the, the the return comes back. And her backhand, her bike in a backhand is 
That is a world-class shot. Game. Boy, oh boy, this is impressive serving. Rabakana going along beautifully. 4-2. I mean, that's why you can't start picking a side on the serve so early on in the match. Maybe as we go along, if there's a bit more of an obvious pattern on big points, but I just feel like she's hitting all four corners with ease at the moment. able to step in and dictate off that forehand side cross court gives her the most space to comfortably hit into and she went for it yeah. my feelings is that every third shot should be going to the forehand if, especially if the return is deep, at least go back to the forehand. You know, nine times out of ten, you're going to get it back cross court, and you've at least got the chance to reset the point. Second serve, just uh, starting to be a little problematic here. Yeah, she's been feeling the pressure, Sabalenka. One of six when she has to go to the second serve and it's causing her to overplay even more. Thirty on. Sabalenka seemed to get fifth. just a little fortunate there. She almost hit her way out of this point. That backhand from Rubikina, that is usually such a predictable shot. But it was a big point, and Sabalenka knew it. those last couple of points and boy did Sabalenka need it to women's final we're off to a good start Elena Rabikina with an early break has played with confidence and will be serving at 4-3 with the new balls Incredible hitting from Arena Sabalenka. Rabikina, she has only Love lost hitting. three points on serve. That was the third one, and it had to be an incredible backhand. Just glancing off the line for Sabalenka to take control.
love 30. Laura mentioned that Rybakina talked about the heavier conditions at night, kind of said she expected it to be the same in tonight's match. So she at least had a chance to get used to it. But right now, first bit of pressure on her serve. Um, that's her least favorite shot, the forehand down the line. Love. Well, until this game, first serves unreturned. Rabikina are at an incredible 80%, Sabalenka 41%. But at this game, Sabalenka has come out and has returned magnificently. Three break points. I think it's much warmer tonight than it was uh, for Rubikina's semi-final. She's getting a lot of extra pop on the serve. The conditions, it's much more humid. It's been a really hot day, so the court's still holding quite a bit of that heat. Sabalenka, and we're back on serve for all. Four games on. That was fantastic ball striking, and we talked a lot about the winners off the Sabalenka forehand. That is the most dangerous shot off of a racket, but the backhand has held its own in some crucial moments, and that was certainly one of them. Sabalenka looked like she wasn't quite ready coming Nothing. out of the serve. A little slow to catch up to that ball, and Vikina again able to take advantage. At the end of that Love game, it. guys, it looked to me like Sabalenka took off. Uh, I think it's a whoop. I think she plays with a whoop, which is like a heart rate monitor, um, tracks all your sort of recovery as the match goes on. But she took it off halfway through, and you can clearly see that tan line on her right hand. And maybe she's just thinking, look, it's the last one of the tournament. I don't need to know if I'm recovered or not. I don't care anymore. Quite possible, Laura. She had forgotten to take it off at the start of the match when she walked out and just realised mid-match that's what nerves can, can do. Oh, this was a terrific second serve, though, and she needed it. Used every inch of the service box, getting a little extra side spin. Let's just sit. Tonight, it's been the pace of Rabikin up. It's 
actually 15. hurting Sabalenka in these rallies. Second. If you 13, think about four. Sabalenka's matches up to this stage, hasn't really played anybody who's hit the ball big. So this has been an adjustment tonight. Catch up to the pace off of Rubikina's racket. fault of this first set and Rabikin are now in front First point is so big when you're trying to close out a set. 15 left. Yeah, the heart rate's up, the pressure's on. Yeah, it's such a pressure releaser to win those first couple of points, to play from ahead in the game. Just give yourself a little more breathing room. Sabalenka playing to the bike in a backhand there, and that seems to relax her a little bit more. down here three set points but why are you not making the move to cover the cross court forehand yeah, she's looked a little slow getting to a couple of those shots Sabalenka and it's three set points for Rubikina Game gets off to a dream Rubikina. start Elena Rubikina has wrapped up the first set in 34 six minutes games six games to four Fifteen left. I'd like to see some more adjustments Keep with the being. placement of Sabalenka's serve as well. I think on this juice side, she can afford to go a lot more for the first serve, slide her out wide, get that first serve percentage up a little, and then on the second, if she needs to, jam her in the body. Oh. Oh. How well 
does the bike kind of play that block backhand return? It just looks so steady to me. Well, Sabalenka, she had that first serve percentage up midway through the first set, and it dropped towards the end of the set. Just feeling more pressure from Rybikina and her kick serve. It's not having quite the effect with Rybikina's height and her comfort on that backhand side. with the kick serve, Sabalenka gets a little bit more inside the court and she's able to push forward. Bikina not allowing it at all. Gets another miss, another opportunity. from the net. 30, 40. I've seen many body serves from Sabalenka today. I like it. Sabalenka, surely you're going to back yourself in a forehand to forehand rally. And that's a better serve. The slice to the, the bike in a forehand. Advantage. It's also Sabalenka. a good serve on the ad sir, on the ad side down the tee. If you can slide it a little more versus the top spin that Sabalenka hits normally. That's a great response here yeah, from Sabalenka. Sabalenka down a couple of break points, but finds a way to hold excellent hitting and serving. Well, that's so classy. It shows the confidence of Rebecca, now the freedom. Well, Laura, you mentioned Sabalenka should be willing to get into the cross court forehand battles, but here she had a real opportunity. Went back to the backhand of Rebecca, and paid the price. It is confusing. I mean, some of these rallies, it's so obvious from the side what she could be doing a little differently, but it's just the heat at the moment, isn't it? She can't think straight right now. That's the big weapon for Sabalenka, and she has not been deploying it as well as she has during her previous matches. That is the fourth winner. She normally is at a much higher number by now, but maybe she's just starting to find the range a little bit more here.
finally a bit of court coverage from Sabalenka there, knowing very good chance the Baikonur was going to go for the forehand cross court, covered it well. But this is really when you could start using the on-court coaching a little better. I haven't seen Sabalenka go to this towel box on, on my side of the court very often. a terrific serve and that's the go-to that's the serve the bike in a 30 on loves to go to in a pinch Sabalenka's got to start looking at you know trying to, to guess maybe change position a little bit try to do something to turn this match around for herself Fold. for Rubaikina. It's just managing the moment here. Hold Up a set. Doesn't. Easy to get a little complacent. She's got to keep going after her shots the way she's been doing so beautifully. That's a perfect strike, isn't it? Just times it. Yes. Oh, Baikina had gone wide on the previous serve. Sabalenka moving that way and getting right behind it. Sabalenka, when you're behind on the scoreboard, you, you're playing catch up and just sensing maybe just overplaying a little too much. Yeah, and Rubikina is just doing just what she needs to do, forcing Sabalenka to have to prove she can hit these shots consistently. Has not happened just yet. Oh, game just incredible. Yeah. Serving all night long. Yvonne Gulagong. Admiring the serve one here of Rebecca up one all. And at this point in the match, would you guys start covering that wide one on the ad one on the ad side? It's been long enough, I think. Well, the, the whole tennis world knows that's the best serve on that side. And Chandam, this is what nerves can do to a Love player. You, you it changes everything. And can't. sometimes you just don't recognize what's going on. It's hard to see these things under pressure. She's been getting a lot of Sabalenka serves back in play, more than Sabalenka has been used to this tournament. And it has rattled her a little bit. Ever since that first break of serve at one all in the first set, it's been a little tougher for Sabalenka to play her way. Thirty fifteen. On. 
Sabalenka has had to hit majority forehands across court third. because she's been on that side of the court. Majority of matches, she gets a lot more forehands where she can control the middle, go inside out. That is a preferred shot for her. Yeah, that shot right there. Just hasn't seen as many of them and yes. almost didn't know what to do with it. That is normally her bread and butter. That miss feels like she's missed because she doesn't want to go to the backhand. And so she's pulling off halfway through the shot, kind of just overthinking where to play. Advantage. Certainly needs a few free points right about now. And when you are a hitter of the ball, the worst thing you can do is overthink. It just slows things down. Your arm, your shots aren't quite as fluid. This would be big if Sabalin could get out of this game with the hold. Game. Two aces Sabalenka. to hold serve. Much needed for Sabalenka. Down a set, but leads 2-1. Second set. Two games to two games. Her usual style of play and take a bit of pace off some of these forehands cross court. Just stay in the rally a little longer. Just trust herself. That's the rally you've been looking for, Laura, I can Love sense. It. And it's so much easier to see it from the side, of course. In the heat at the moment, it is impossible to start thinking of tactics, where to play when you're under so much pressure. But just recognizing that is the error that's coming off Rybikina's forehand side a lot of the time. making that one down the line and 15 off. the average rally length for Sabalenka all tournament long has been 3.3 at the moment it's down to 2.85 so there's a fair bit of time taken away from Sabalenka tonight the rallies are short she hasn't got the rhythm Well, we talked about Sabalenka's opponents up to this stage, and you know the 30, biggest 50. hitter would have been Shelby Rogers, who didn't hit as big consistently in that matchup. Maybe Donna Vekic behind it, but it's not really a comparison for the consistent power that Rubikina brings to the court. Feels a bit like Sabalinka's been playing catch up a little Third bit heel. all night. At that point, really taking it to Rabikina, using the forehand, still getting the margin, but pushing her back to create a little more space. Drops in, and we have a break point now points. for Sabalenka. Gone wide on a lot of these big serves on the ad court. Mm. 
Yes. Does it again. I mean, that's almost a time to just stand wide and make the bike and I have to hit the serve somewhere else. Maybe when she tosses it, you can decide to move the other way, but do something a little different to try to get her thinking on that serve. Advantage Savalenka. Savalenka starting to find a level of consistency here. Winners and four stairs are going up. One four stairs are staying fairly even. That's long. Game at seven. So we have our first break in the second set. It's been a good response from Sabalenka. Sabalenka leads by three games to one. Sabalenka starting to come through a couple of these longer rallies where she's really making a play. Shot selection's been better. She's opening things up to the backhand to then go for the cracker to Rebaikina's um, wide forehand, getting exactly what she wants. Fifteen left. That's a good move from Rebaikina, just putting a little extra pressure on Sabalenka. 15, taking advantage of her court position just a little further inside the baseline. was really close. The Vikina was hanging around. She took a, a couple of extra so steps to her left just to cover that wide kick serve. Was expecting it and then leaned into this forehand return. It seemed to drop a bit on her at the last minute, a little more than she was expecting. That's such a smart serve. Into the body that just stops Rebaikina from having 40, a big 30. swing. Been so composed. Sabalenka, after dropping that first set, she's played brilliantly at the start of this second. Chandy, you just sense this game is so crucial for both players. A 4-1 lead or, or back on serve at 3-2. It's a big swing for Sabalenka in particular, having lost that first set. 
She needs this momentum a little bit more. First double fault of this set for Sabalenka could not have come at a worse time. I think she should be taking a little more time here between the points. She stepped up to the line awfully fast after what was a very tough double fault. So good, had to respond and gets it perfectly. Yes. That's just a ridiculous backhand from Sabalenka. No hesitation, saw the ball, hit the ball. I don't know how her player's box is breathing right now. This is such small margins. Things we've seen in Sabalinka's game throughout the years is even when she misses, she keeps swinging, she keeps going after it, and more times than not, she starts getting her shots to fall. That's what her ranking says. Led first set. Been as high as two in the world, and one of the best players yet to have won a Grand Slam, to not have won. Pushing back, keeping the pressure Jeez. on Sabalenka, just making it tough if she's going to hold serve. How fine are these margins depending on the width that Sabalenka is able to get on that forehand cross? Just half a meter closer to the middle, and it's not enough. Ridiculous. Yeah, that is so composed. <laughs> this is not an easy shot. I think we all held our breath there. I mean, the fact that she went for it and <laughs> timed it perfectly, but such a pressure filled moment trying to hang on to her serve here. So brave from Sabalenka. A great response in this second set. Sabalenka with the lead, 4-1. Interesting in that changeover. Rubikin and put a racket into the stringer. Whether she goes a little softer. Tension drops, perhaps. 15 left. It's just important for Rubikin to hold, to hold serve here, to just keep things close. It's still just one break of serve, and she's had her looks on Sabalenka's serve. Get the sense, though, that Sabalenka is just relaxing more and more into this match. She started to find the range on her ground strokes on the forehand and this softer angle 
really shows her thinking and seeing the entire court. In the first serve, it's unreturned, it's huge numbers, it's 63%, but when the ball is returned, when Sabalenka gets that return back in play, Rabakina only winning 20% of the points. So there's been a real shift in how well Sabalenka is starting to return in this second set. Now that is a big serve getting up close to her fastest of the match. First serve percentage of Rubikina has dropped a little bit here in this second set. She's got to keep that up. just to try and keep it to one break for Rabikina if she can find a way yes. out of trouble here. Well, Sablinka is such a front runner and she can swing out more freely when she's got a bigger lead. So it's very important for Rabikina to just try to keep this thing tight. One break, that is much more manageable. for the forehand. She took a step in that direction, Advantage anticipating that that was where Sabalenka was going. Allowed her to be a bit more aggressive and take control of that point. Let this in. The biggest difference Advantage for me is the Sabalenka. weight of shot these last few games from Sabalenka. She has really picked up the pace. Meanwhile, Rubikina is trying to get that extra bit of height over the net off, off the forehand side, but just playing into Sabalenka's hands where she's able to lean in, get the backhand that she wants. Led first. Yeah. 
Oh, she missed that one, but did you guys see that return position from Sabalenka? She was creeping yes. in, and it's not like Rybikin has got a slow second serve. Yes, it kicks up, but she is really trying to step in here. Yeah, it's the danger of allowing Sabalenka to play with a big lead. She gets even more aggressive, hits out even more freely. Advantage, Rivikin. Wow, that was fascinating. Rebike and they hit that kick serve and then almost ran Jeez. over to the backhand side, expecting that to go cross court. Have a look at this. And not sure why she thought that ball was going cross court so surely, but completely misjudging it. Coming right back, though, on serve. Well, it's keeping her in this Advantage set. Rebekin. This first serve is the one thing that's keeping Elena in this second set. It is her big weapon. Got a really feel huge. New balls, please. For the 20 second seed. Just down the one break. Has the first set in the pocket, 6 Sabalenka 4. Sabalenka leads by four games to two. And it'll be new balls. And as Laura has alluded to, this is the average net clearance here for Rabaikana. Set one on the forehand and the backhand, pretty similar, but. On set two, she's just trying to buy a little time. She's shaping it a little more, but that is allowing Sabalenka to get more aggressive. Yeah, it's taken a little pace off of some of Rebikina's ground strokes. She's placing more of those balls in the court, and it's allowing Sabalenka to jump on top of anything a little bit shorter. Love 15. And the idea is to hit a little higher and that ball will go a little deeper, but she's got to keep some pace on it, Rebikina, as she did there. Fifteen on. I also think on the back in a backhand, she's got to keep hitting out on the, that shot. It is also a weapon for her, that backhand side. She can use it to dictate more often. It's just backed off slightly on that shot. This backhand down the line, starting to do some damage here from Sabalenka. And she's mixing up the first serve a lot better in this set, recognizing that going mostly down the tee in set one was just not doing the job. So really well done by Sabalenka to recognize the situation she was in. tonight these great hands that we've seen from Sabalenka on the defense just making Rebikin to play that extra shot
Okay. Sends it into the stands. And Arena Sabalenka in control of the second set. She leads five games to two. Sabalenka leads by five games to two. Fifth seed Arena Sabalenka, who has played so brilliantly in this second set. And is just one game away from taking it to a decider. going into this match. Love I kind of thought game. it would be Rybikina winning the battle of the backhands and Sabalinka winning the battle of the forehands. It's kind of flipped a little bit. Sabalinka really believing in that backhand and going toe to toe there. Bikina has got to be willing occasionally to take that forehand up the line. It's become a little bit predictable going cross court. That little bit of a change up certainly help. Let this. Fifteen thirty. It's been a big difference for me as well. The quickness of Sabalenka, her first step, getting behind some of these shots. A little bit slow in the first set, and that has improved tremendously. And it's Sabalenka with two set 15, points. 40. Thirty forty. Right up there with the biggest. 195 is the biggest of the tournament, and she owns that serve speed. The Seagulls strike again. And was it a big one, Laura? Well, from the amount of bears up ahead, I'm assuming it was. shot from that position down break point that shot almost had Juice. to be a winner easy for it to tail back into the court but Rubakina get, gets it to stay pretty true straight up the line
This really has been a high quality match. Both players Advantage. more winners than unforced errors. Using their weapons in this point. And a little bit of everything, including a little finesse. Many players could rush Rubikina this thoroughly, but Sabalenka, she's got big shots to do so, and she has found her consistency. Still trying to close out this set. On the previous point, the Vikina actually was looking for the backhand of the third ball, almost played an inside out backhand rather than going to the forehand side that she's starting to struggle with a bit more. Game, Reba oh, That's a big hold. The fight off set points. We're biking up. But it'll be Sabalenka. A chance Sabalenka to leads serve this second set to out. Three. Take it to a third. And we almost need a, sh a speed gun on the uh, ground strokes at the moment. Both of them are absolutely ripping it. Some of the heaviest hitting I've seen all tournament. serve worked so well in Good this second up. set not so much in the first set she was just hitting a few too many double faults but certainly has been able to execute better in this second set out wide yeah she was going for more top spin more straight on serves with pace that wasn't giving her much open court a wide serve especially on that deuce side has allowed Sabalenka to open things up give her more space to hit into Pretty good for the biking a outright winner on the forehand. 15 on. Got Sabalinka guessing because she set up quickly and on balance at her pick of direction. Wide serve again that just gives Sabalenka a little more space to hit into. She can slice that serve, come on the outside a little bit more, and it makes it a safer serve all around. Not an easy shot to execute. The drop shot on a hard court. Forty. Well, what a time to bring up ace number eleven. It's the favoured big serve down the tee. And it brings up set point number three.
Oh, two in a row. Second set, Sabalenka. And Arena Sabalenka wraps up the second set in style. Six games to three, one setter. And in this Josh. Rubikina to <laughs> It's been a few swings, there's no doubt about it. 50 50. We'll just check in with Laura, see what her win predictor looks like in a minute. Laura, who are you going for and why? I mean, firstly, surely the win predictor is not allowed to sit on the fence. The whole point of <laughs> the win predictor did. is to predict <laughs> a win. Um, uh, honestly, I'm with the win predictor. No, come on, Laura. 50 -50 Get off the fence. Right now. You're going to sit on the fence as well. Oh, no. <laughs> The biggest difference for me in that second set, obviously the winners off Sabalenka's rackets were outrageous, but she just had better feel. Under pressure, she was able to dig out a couple of those third shots where the ball came really deep, and she's just reading and anticipating a lot better than Rybikina at the moment. But this is where it's going to get really stressful for both players. And I, I kind of think 14, with Rubik in a seven first to start this third set makes a bit of a difference. I think pressure-wise, it takes a bit off her shoulders. Let's see if that plays a part. Junior girls winner from today. Elena Corneva went the distance. It was a three hour, 15 minute battle. Game. All right. An impressive opening game in this final Rebecca set. Was the go-to, and she was able to open up the angles and just create a little more space after the serve. Really smart adjustments from Sabalenka. 15. Oh, this one 15 left. Like. On song in, from the second set onwards. Uh, the rhythm, the ball toss. All working so well in sync tonight. Thirty low. She made it. <laughs> the very last moment, that ball seemed to drop right on the line. Again, the body Four serve seven. just a little tighter, forcing Rubikina to have to move away, try to create some space on the swing.
service game here from Sabalenka. One game. Feeling confident. And Chanda, you suspect Rebikina must move out and cover that wide serve on that juice court. And this is where the adjustments come in. Now <laughs> Rebikina has to adjust. Try to maybe change her position a little bit. Just give Sabalenka a little something different to look at. One of the doubles finalists in the crowd, Barbora Krejcikova. She likes watching tennis when she can at events. Yeah. Love 50. Fifteen. Dubrov, coach of Marina Sabalenka. Thirty fifteen. Perfectly placed serve. She's been going up the tee. Some big moments that time. Taking a little off and getting better placement. Oh. There's times when Savalinka is getting that ball back on Rubikina very quickly. Huge point here. Where does she go with the first serve? I'm thinking the slider wide. Create some open space. Didn't slide, but it was good enough. A little more straight and flat. 40 30. Gave her biking a, something just a little shorter with the net cord. She's holding on and leads 2-1 in this third. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Players are waiting. Any seat you can find will do for now. Not many left, that's the problem. <laughs> swing you win that point definitely feel like you're a chance of breaking and that's what you were alluding to Josh that we needed to start getting on that wide serve it's been a go-to of Sabalenka's from the second set connects beautifully with it
15 on. I think surely you just force yourself to go heavy through the middle with that second serve return. That is such a key point. Could be love 30 so quickly there. Thirty fifteen. A bit of power from Sabalenka, a little more than Rabikina can handle. The last couple of returns. Awesome, that backhand cross court and just Forty. hitting with such power and grace at the moment. It was so hard to read this too. Look at the shoulder rotation that she's getting on that and she kind of waited half a, half a second longer before deciding to go back cross court. Just see how relaxed she is in the arms. Service game for Sabalenka. Two games left. Can you pick a winner, ladies? Either way, in this one, it's just it's a now it's too close to call. Well, I think with Rebike and forcing herself to go forehand line there, she's clearly not feeling comfortable with um, the conditions at the moment, or rather, how much pace she's getting off Sabalenka's racket. And have you noticed that the court slowing down? Is it uh, is it not yet. slower? Not yet. I, I think the difference when the new balls come in is the biggest difference. For me, the court speed uh, hasn't changed significantly. 15. I mean, they're both hitting it so hard that it, it probably makes it quite hard to tell anyway. Under that forehand when it's dropping that way. Bakina also more comfortable going cross court, but that time just a little flick of the wrist, stayed loose below the net. Gets a big one to go in. That point was important. We have seen so few double faults from Rabakina over the course of the match. Yeah, first one. First one. What a time. She's got a little breathing room here. But this, these are pressure moments. Well, 30 all in the previous service game. She went for the wide serve. Surely it's coming again.
pays the price for not making enough first serves. And once Sabalenka gets in control of these rallies, she's winning the bulk of them. Oh, you could see Rybakina again getting a little more height on that forehand, guiding it just slightly. And Sabalenka, she crushed it. First break point of this third set. This time gets a first serve. 191 kilometers an hour. That's right up there. Mm -hmm. Advantage. A couple of fantastic serves there. Is that fastest one of the match? 193. It's equal the fastest of her. Just a little under. 195 is yeah, that's right. the absolute fastest. She is right there. How brave are those last two points? It's a disappointment for him, yes. Viking it did so well to shift that game with those two serves. See the agony on her face, missing that forehand. difficult for both Advantage players. It's so hard to win. You get so close. I mean, they're making it look so easy. That huge serve, but even this backhand from Rybikina at this moment in a match, that is a lot tougher than it looks to keep swinging out freely. Fold. striking is just superb it felt like she was going to catch herself out there twice she could have taken the ball out of the air gone for the drive volley makes me nervous when people start letting those ones bounce serve advantage Reba King. it's been a serve for Bikina has used throughout the tournament pulling it out in an important moment to get another game point oh, well done Reba King. saves a break point but the 22nd seed Rebikina Crowd inside you, here. And Get to enjoy it. And these two young ladies are putting on a show. 3 2 on serve, third set. Oh, just serving beautifully. Sabalenka, 75% of first serves in in this third set.
30-15. It's the rhythm chander. It just looks like she's just throwing that ball up with such confidence that she can hit it to any part of that service box. And that's the rhythm you tie into as a match gets tighter, as the pressure builds. That allows a player to regulate their serves. 40, 50. The serve is a rhythm shot, and that's why players practice it so much. And Sabalenka did a lot of good work, make little adjustments to get this kind of a routine. 15th ace already. Fold. Service game, spins the pressure back on Rabakina here. Well, you think having saved those great points in the previous game and then winning the first point of that last game that Rabakina was going to start to amp things up and then Sabalenka just shuts the door so quickly on the serve. Unbelievable. What a terrific display of women's tennis and so fitting that we have this women's final going to the distance have the original nine it's been celebrated and in the stadium watching on and the decisions they made in 1970 that have helped usher us into today's tennis it is quite remarkable winner of this one collects just under three million dollars prize money And it is equal prize money for men and women. And that has been a big step forward. Love. Well, the support staff, the coaches, they go through so much in the players' box as well. It's a, it's a big investment. It's not part-time, it's full-time. You give your whole life. You travel 30, 40 weeks a year. Yeah. 30, 15. Forehand heaviness there. Both players well above the average, especially Sabalenka, up around 7.5. We've seen her there most of this tournament. That's the power and the spin measurement. up that way on a forehand you've almost got a guess I and mean, there is no chance to catch up to that shot if you don't have a head start but she held it just long enough Sabalenka did the chances. 30, Just can't find enough first serves at the moment. Rebaikana. up.
we've seen it time and time again from Jeez. Rabikina. The ability to deliver a first serve when needed. I'm honestly shaking my head down here in disbelief at how big that was. And the previous point from Sabalenka, you've got someone who's almost hit 45 winners struggling to stay in the match. <laughs> Sabalenka's having to hit that well to win points here. Got another break point chance, but this is just phenomenal tennis. Sabalenka. It's everything we wanted out of this final. Baikina, she's had to change her patterns a bit. Going up the tee there has gone out wide a lot, especially in that first set. Both players having to adjust in little ways out there tonight. Yeah. I've just been so impressed with mentality of both Advantage players, of extreme Pina. pressure, so much at stake. Just handled the occasion so well. Clapping. Yes. <laughs> That's about the fifth point in a row that I've been clapping. <laughs> Can't help myself. This is so good. Advantage, Sabalenka. Well, third break point now for Sabalenka. One feels how long can Rabikina hold on? She has been under tremendous pressure time and time again here on serve. Can she come up from another break point? Gets yeah. it, Sabalenka. and finally it's Sabalenka with the first break in this decider. On the cusp here, has played so well all year in Australia. She won in Adelaide, the lead-in event, and she's just two games away. Not much she could do about that return. Lovely thing. We thought it couldn't get any better. Well, Rebikina, she read it, took a little bit of an angle at that shot, and met it with equal force. Yeah. 15 off. Out. 
And I'm down here with a, a couple of other courtside commentators, feet. and there's a stat floating about that these ladies are hitting it seven miles per hour faster than Sitsipas off the ground. Fold. Forty fifteen. the first ball we've seen Sabalenka really over hit in quite a while. Definitely stands out there. Well beyond the baseline. Trying to settle herself down just a bit here. Fold. Two forehand winner returns in this game from Rabaikina. And that will get the heart rate yes. up right now for Sabalenka. First signs of just a little tension creeping into Sabalenka's game. The missed forehand that was well beyond the baseline. And then that puff serve in the middle of the box. Can she regroup here? That serve has just worked. Such a treat on the big points tonight. Advantage, Sabalenka. And the fact is, there is going to be tension. This is a big moment for any player trying to win a major title. It's how you handle it. That is what matters. Sabalenka went big, 175 kilometers an hour. She's gotten a few misses yes. from Rabakina off of those big serves. That time, though, Rabakina, just a little more intensity on that return. Yeah. Again, such accuracy, Laura. Well, so good because Rubikin is down the end of Advantage her coach Sabalenka. and she's been looking over. He's clearly been giving some advice on where to go with the return position. And then Sabalenka just shuts it down, goes T. Game. Sends a rocket out wide. Marina Sabalenka just one game away from lifting the trophy. It's a good lead, 5 3, third set. Sabalenka leads by five games to three. So brave to come through that one. As Chanda was saying, the first couple of signs of tension, the forehand, and then a few errors where she went from 40-15 back to juice. I'm just unbelievably impressed with Sabalenka's mentality tonight, how she's handled the tough moments. Thank you. This will be another real test for Rubikina serving to stay in this match. She's taking a little extra time at the back of the court.
15 on. Fold. So desperate, Sabalenka, to try and break to win. That way you don't have to sit down. 30, 15. That set change would feel long. You get a minute between the end of games. Well, Rybakina was pushing the depth in that point, and Sabalenka desperate to keep up, try to push back. Great service game. Serving to stay alive 40, in the tournament. Forty thirty. Shot making from Elena Rabakina. Still fifteen left. Fifteen on. Attention builds for everybody. Can keep swinging out as freely. That is the challenge. Fold. Fifteen thirty. Fifteen thirty. Thirty on. Yeah. 
so impressive. And it is Arena Sabalenka with championship point. 40 30. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Advantage. Well, it's a good response, and it brings up championship point number Sabalenka. two. It's always the hardest point to win. Yes. Advantage, Riva Kina. Oh, that's so clutch. <laughs> Would have desperately wanted to serve like that on one of the two match points. Hey, better yes. late than never. I mean, how is Sabalenka handling these points? Mine has got to be racing, slowing it down just enough to come up with that serve. Third time lucky here for Arena Sabalenka. Third championship point. Advantage Sabalenka. Thank you. Oh, 
Chandra, sport is a, does cruel things to the mind and the self-belief that you require to win the biggest points of them all. Yes. Just taking the little bit of extra time going Advantage to the towel. Savalenka. Match point number four. Sabalenka is the Australian Open champ for 2023.